Hey, this is a quick video on how to install a uh, group head pressure gauge onto a rocket appartamento uh, or really any E61 group head based machine. Uh, I've had the appartamento for a couple years and I really enjoy it, but the one thing that I've been a little disappointed with is uh, not being able to monitor pressure inside the group head when I am pulling shots. And this thing will allow you to do that. Um, I got this one from a retailer called First Line Equipment, I think. Um, they had a little package where you can see there's two little uh, spacing rings they recommend that you get to get this to fit properly. Um, but other than that, it's a super quick little uh, modification you can do on your machine. All right, so on the front of the machine, you can see there is an M6 Allen bolt uh, that seals up that uh, little hole there on the front of an E61 group head. Um, I happen to have this cool little IKEA toolkit, which happens to have an M6 bolt, a uh, thing that you can put into a screwdriver. Um, but if you don't have this, most Allen keys, um, like I said, from IKEA, <laughs> should actually fit as well. So you just unscrew that thing, and then the pressure gauge uh, will basically fit right into that. Uh, here you can see that the uh, bolts are pretty similar, although the stem is a little longer on the, the stock bolt that is on the pressure gauge. Uh, but you just put these two little spacing rings uh, that the retailer recommends you pick up with this thing, uh, and you just screw it on in there. Um, it's pretty easy to uh, get it aligned. I was a little worried that it wasn't going to line up properly, but if you just torque it down a little bit, um, it should fit fine. And I was actually surprised you didn't really need any plumber's tape to keep this thing sealed uh, or anything. It just, it just fits just fine. So there you go. There's the finished product right there. And we can take a look at the side here and you can see it sticks out a little bit, but still plenty of clearance uh, with the top of the group head. So here's me putting a blind basket in and we'll test this thing out. All right, you can see that it is reading 12 bar pressure with the blind basket. So there you go, super easy uh, little upgrade you can do to your machine. Uh, not very expensive either. I think it was like 30 bucks or something like that. So yeah, go for it.